Welcome to Game Day, Northwest. I'm Ron Stanley alongside Alyssa Clinton. Let's get started. This year's Lady Raven tennis team led a strong campaign headlined by a lot of young and upcoming talent. Let's take it to Catherine Farewell for the recap. The girls' tennis team had a successful season. The team strives for greatness. The team sent several athletes to regionals. Regan Ofterheide had an overall record in singles, was 8 and 12, and all in doubles, she went 2 and 5. Nikki Hoffey went 8 and 2 in singles, and 6 and 5 in doubles. Mallory Brown had a record of 5 and 4 in singles, and Sydney Moore went 5 and 1 in singles. The team finished 8th out of the 12 teams in the Sunflower League. It was an improvement from last season, when the team finished 9th in the Sunflower League. With a lot of young talent and dedication, the girls are looking forward to next season. For Game to Northwest, this has been Angie Torres and Catherine Farewell. Great job, ladies. The Northwest Gymnastics team finished off another successful season. Let's take it to Sydney Weeks and Gabby Thomas for a quick recap. This past season for the Raven Gymnastics team was perhaps the best in the team's history, having three members qualify for state. Brooke Elam, a freshman on the team, is hopeful for the season to come. Just get my start values up and like hopefully the team can qualify to state, but if not, then just qualify as many girls as we can. For some, the idea of ending high school gymnastics was devastating. Luckily, after much support and deliberation, the sport will continue on. That means a lot. Um, Club gymnastics was fun, but it's a lot more stressful than this. So this is like a really good way to like come back to gymnastics and have fun and not like stress out as much, I guess. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Sydney Weeks and Gabby Thomas. Now, back to the desk. Last Saturday, the Olathe Northwest cheer team competed in the Blue Valley Southwest Showcase. Let's ho head over to Gabby Thomas for the recap. On Saturday, November 12th, the Raven cheerleaders competed at the Blue Valley Southwest Showcase Cheerleading Festival. The girls gave an outstanding performance and walked away with a rating of 2. We look forward to more exceptional performances from the Raven cheerleaders and good luck on the rest of your season. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Gabby Thomas. Now, back to Roan and Alyssa. It takes some real athleticism to do what they do. Which is something you lack. Oh, thanks, Alyssa. Every year, o w holds a signing ceremony. Alyssa has the story. Last Thursday, we held our annual signing day ceremony. Signing day gives student athletes a chance to show their friends and teachers what universities they committed to. This year, we had 14 seniors participate in signing day. Maddie Young, a D1 softball commit, is excited to further her career and education at the University of Northern Colorado. I, I mean, it's been my goal to play D1 softball for my whole life, so it's like surreal that it's actually like happening and I get to do it. For Natalie Hamm, she has been dreaming of this day since she was young, and she is excited to get the chance to play against her close friend, Hallie England. It feels really good. I've been waiting for this since I was like nine, so. <laughs> Feels awesome. We get to play against each other. For o and Now, this has been this Alyssa Clinton. Now spot. back to the desk. It's great to see so many Ravens continuing their athletic careers at the next level. Speaking of the next level, let's take it to Adam Cook, who has the top plays of the fall. Starting out our list at number five is freshman Brooke Elam's first ever landed vault. It just so happens that her first vault she lands is at the Sunflower League State Individual All-Around Meet. Elam scored a dazzling 9.25 out of 10 on the ball. There were only seven minutes to go in NW's only third ever playoff game, and the Ravens trailed the Gardner Edison Trailblazers by six. The play was a wide receiver screen pass to big offensive playmaker Elijah Rowland, and make a play he did. Rowland, he's got one guy to beat, and oh, two guys. He jukes right out of. Oh, he's going to stay on his feet. He's going to run down the side. Touchdown, Olathe Northwest. With the extra point from David Boschma, the clutch play put the Ravens up 16-15, to putting the momentum in the Ravens' favor. Our next play also comes from Roland. 
It was the night of the homecoming game, and the Raven faithful showed up in full force to support Northwest against the Leavenworth Pioneers. The game had started to have the makings of a blowout with a score of 21-0 in the third quarter, and this interesting Easton Crubber to Elijah Rowland connection put the game even further out of reach for the Pioneers. To Elijah Rowland open down the field and the ball pops oh, up. He catches it off the defender. He's going, he's going to run. That's going to be six points. Ten. Touchdown, Elijah Rowland. Touchdown, Elijah Northwest. Northwest. What a crazy play. After a hard fought season, the boys' soccer team faced Shawnee Mission West in the regional championship game. The game was a nail biter, tied 0 to 0 right up to the finish, where late in the second half, this happened. <laughs> The goal was the deciding factor in the game as the Ravens held on to the lead and later won the game, becoming regional champions. And your final score, Olathe Northwest 2, Shawnee Mission West 0. And coming in at number 1, one of Olathe Northwest's most iconic plays ever, the final point to give the Ravens volleyball team the state title. Here's to a great season of ONW Fall Sports. Let's gear up to make more highlight plays this winter. This has been Adam Cook. Now back to you guys. Wow, we have some real athletic talent here at ONW. That's all we had this week on Game Day Northwest. Have a great week, Ravens, and let's take it back to the desk.